Hi, welcome to Copenhagen. Thanks for dropping in. Hope everybody is doing well. Today I want to talk about Diamond Art Club's drills. In April of 2021, Diamond Art Club started to manufacture their own diamond painting drills. It took them eight months to do the complete transition. So it wasn't until December 2021 until all of the kits that came out had their new drills. Now, the big question is, are the new drills any good? Okay, so this is the big test, comparing the old Diamond Art Club drills to the new ones. <clears throat> I'm in the lucky position that I have square drills, old square drills in this one, new square drills in the next one that I'm going to show you because my wife has actually just finished this a few days ago and it's going to be a gift for her brother in America. So before uh, we packed it up I thought this is the ideal time or ideal chance to compare like for like. So I am going to call it the bling test. So the idea is that I'm going to move the camera along. Um, I have a light overhead and we'll be able to see uh, the, how shiny the drills are. Then I'm going to keep the camera still and I'm going to swing the light um, from side to side or back and forward over the image just so you can see how uh, it affects the drills. So I may as well start. So this is, uh, as I said, the old drills, which are pre-April uh, 2021. And um, you can see they are very shiny. So I'll just run past, go back again. I'll stop here and I'll just move the light it's a sort of strip light, so you'll see like a line. But hopefully you can see how shiny the drills are. And if I tilt the light at an angle. So nothing much wrong with these drills. So now <coughs> the big question is, what about the new drills? So what I've done is I've got them side by side and I'll just move this over and I'll take the cover off the other one which is Batman uh, which I'm still working on. Uh, this one is called Summer Blooms in case anybody's interested. Um, so I'm just going to slide along and we'll have a look at this one and we'll go over onto Batman and see if you think there is any difference in the shininess. So this is on to Batman. And we'll do the same thing. I'll stop it here, which is probably going to get most. And then I'll move the light. And then we'll, uh, we'll do a comparison again. We'll just go to the edge, come back onto the old drills. And then back over again. Now the thing is, these would normally be on the wall. Um, when you finish them. So the light that hits them would be from different angles at different times of the day. Maybe you've got um, the sun shines in a window at a certain time of day. It might uh, land on the image and you'll see that it's more sparkly. But the thing is, what I'm doing just now is I'm like moving the light to try and give you an idea. It isn't the same as walking by. I mean, if you see um, this area here, it's more random, whereas this line, it's because the light is above. So 
normally you wouldn't have that you wouldn't have a spotlight aiming straight at the image it would just be natural light which is a bit more this sort of thing that's what you intend to see it, it it's random sort of shimmers and glitters so we'll do the same thing here in fact I'll try and get both again if you see this part up here because this light isn't directly over um, it gives you a better idea of what it would look like if you were walking past so that is it um, I did contact Diamond Art Club and I asked them about the new drills and it was them that told me that they went into production in April 2021 but it took them 8 months to um, for the full transition so that everything they do now is with the new drills so anything this year uh, 2022 and on will be these drills I did ask them if there was anything different about the drills because when I did the unboxing um, I'm pretty sure I mentioned I thought they looked very shiny um, if you haven't seen the unboxing um, of, of Batman um, I'll put a link up here um, you can have a look at that and see what you think so that is it really um, direct comparison blink test old versus new and um, please put in the comments if which one you think is the shinest or do you think they're just the same again just a little run past and then back on the Batman and we'll leave it there so uh, that was the bling test um, showing the old drills and comparing them directly to the new ones um, personally I am pretty confident the new ones are better uh, they are to me definitely shinier the quality of the drills is very good um, not perfect but um, as far as I know no company produces perfect drills you will always find um, little flaws and defects bars misshapen drills drills that are a bit too big or a bit too small that type of thing um, <clears throat> you will always find something in uh, your drills that, that isn't quite right um, again they, they are produced by the million or billion by machines they aren't handcrafted so you will get these defects the thing is how often do you get them and is it really a major issue um, as long as you get enough of the good drills just uh, check them before you put them in if you think there's something a bit off um, don't use it you don't have to use every drill you pick up so as I said personally I think the new drills are definitely uh, better than the old ones but my wife isn't as convinced so I would be interested um, if anybody has got the new kits with the new drills did you notice that they seem shinier than they used to be did you notice that the quality is better than it used to be um, I'm not sure how well it comes across on camera um, how shiny going from one to the other and back again um, I'm not sure how well it comes across but to me personally I think the new drills are definitely better and they are probably the best drills that I have tried so that is just my opinion um, I'll see what people say in the comments the, the main ones that I want to hear from though are the people who have had uh, Diamond Art Club kits in the past and they have now tried one with the new drills um, because after you've spent a long time on the ones that you've done 
um, you would probably be in a better position to tell whether the new ones are better or not. So please feel free to comment. So that's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching, as always. Um, if you enjoyed the video and you would like to see more <clears throat> unbaggings, unboxings, comparisons, accessories, um, pretty much anything to do with diamond painting, please subscribe and hit the notification button. And if you do that, you may catch me on YouTube Live. Um, I do random YouTube Lives. And the whole point is basically I'm working on wh whichever project I'm working on at that time. At the moment, it's Batman. Um, and people drop in and we, we just chat. Um, most of the people that drop in diamond paint or are thinking about diamond painting Sometimes people drop in who have no idea what diamond painting is, they just drop in randomly and uh, they normally are quite interested and ask some questions and that sort of thing. But the main point is really just to get to know other diamond painters around the world, have a bit of a chit chat, have a little bit of banter and uh, just relax, that's the whole point. So if you're interested in that, please subscribe, hit the notification button and you will get a little message uh, either when I post a new video or when I go live. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. And in the meantime, take care, be safe and wash your hands.